to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare starring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me with a ball. Winning without trying, what separates the winner from the loser? On one hand, both can have done the same physical preparation One has negative self-talk the other perhaps really believes, overhypes himself, does everything right. But is there something else? Could we have a mindset that is relaxed, winning without trying and letting loose of control? In the Western world, we emphasize hard work, constantly being busy so that you should be working really hard, you should be training really hard and you should have a full schedule. For instance, Joe Rogan talks about how important it's to train. I totally agree with that. But then he also mentions that most of your workouts will suck. You won't want to do them after a long day. That most sessions you won't be motivated to do. That actually you have to bite down your teeth and go work out. I used to think that 20% of the time I should be really happy about my performance and 80% of the time I should have this mindset of Joe Rogan where constantly I'm chasing something. I should always improve. I did progress, but I wasn't satisfied with my results. But there is this Wu Wei. Winning without trying is an ancient Chinese concept which means effortless action. This is derived from the Confucianism to become an important part of Chinese philosophy and religion in Taoism. I decided to put this mindset to the test, waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning doing two elite military workouts as well as in the same week competing in the national championships in calisthenics in two different categories. Kapil Gupta who is a performance coach puts this mindset to the extreme. He coaches elite athletes as well as top executives such as the famous successful entrepreneur and investor Naval Ravikant. Kapil Gupta basically talks about that nothing is hard, everything is easy. When you get past the mechanical parts, what separates the elite from the great is basically the mindset of letting loose of effort. Basically, either you are the winner or you're not. So this is sort of a confusing paradox and he basically says it's just a mindset thing. I don't know if I just agree with that because you shouldn't be training too hard. You should know the balance of when have you actually put everything on the table regarding the training, the mechanical part, when is it time to let loose of control. Control. You're probably familiar with the feeling that you sometimes don't prepare too well and sometimes you might over prepare. And definitely this mindset of Wu Wei and Kapil related to me and then I started to think back to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest bodybuilder of all time. And he basically talked about that his peer competitors always showed up to the gym very sore, very frustrated or that it was a painful workout. And he just said that he smiled during every rep and set that he did because he knew that every set and rep was one step closer to the gold podium. Also, we have in Finland Kimi Raikkonen, who is one of the top Formula One drivers. And while all the drivers were, of course, tensed up before the Grand Prix, the competition, Kimi used to be 20 minutes before the race, still sleeping, taking a nap. So it's worth thinking about how much should you be focusing on effort versus how much should you be letting loose of control. Now that's kind of a hard thing to measure because how will you actually know that are you overtrained or are you undertrained? For instance, some tips could be that I've been using this one app where you look at heart rate variability, but scientifically that's not really a good way to look at it as the literature doesn't really support this yet. So you kind of have to go with your gut feeling, but then we come to the training part. So when we think about what I did during this one week, I competed in one rep max, so it's about doing one rep with maximum amount of weight. Muscle ups, pull ups, squats and so on. Then it was a few hours break and then I competed in strength and endurance, which means that you're basically doing a really, really high intense interval training session. So I was putting my body to two different extremes, right? So usually when you talk about building one rep max, maximum strength, you want to do one to five repetitions with 80 to 100% of maximum load that you can lift and then 5 to 15 repetitions when you want to build muscle. And maybe here you're between 60 to 80 percent of one rep max so you can do multiple reps breaking down the muscle tissue and then if you go past that that will sort of become muscular endurance and after that it would be aerobic training so i wanted to, of course put this to the test i thought that i'm just going to stick to my regular training three times per week for 45 minutes compound movement 
during my lunch breaks, really focusing on basic calisthenics. And again, this type of training is great. How great is it actually when you want to go to the elite level? So that was the point that I wanted to test this. That's actually something that's possible. The legs are really hard, especially to build stronger with just the body weight, or at least in theory. So I didn't win, but I was surprised how well I recovered from completing two elite military workouts earlier in the week, and then recovery from that, doing on my lunch breaks, 45 minutes of training, and then going to the nationals and at least getting two times to the podium. I sort of got a really nice balance here of training really intense for the 45 minutes three times per week, and then letting loose of control, not being overly stressed about this. Previously, when I competed in, for instance, skateboarding or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I've always been that I have to really push myself to the next level. Everything has to be obsessively perfect. So this was a really, really nice mix to me. Perhaps I should have taken it a little bit more seriously, even though I trained hard. I should have prepared more well for one rep max versus strength and endurance. But I learned a lot here. This also then earned me a spot in the Nordic finals, and I had to pick one category, and that was strength and endurance. Now I didn't perfect the mindset versus training, as then I really wanted to obsess and make everything perfect for that competition, and my performance absolutely plummeted. I ended up being sixth, and I overtrained for this. So there's definitely a balance that you have to find here, and I would say that the more you learn about your own body and mind, the better. You can't really put a science to this, at least I haven't come up with one. Maybe you can let me know in the comments section. And that was probably the mistake I did for the Nordic finals, where I went in there to win goal. That was like the only thing on my mind. So next time you think about stressing about performance, some presentation at work or school, sure you want to prepare for that, but maybe take the lesson from Wu Wei and let things happen. Win without trying. If you want to see more on the recovery part, because that's of course an important part, make sure you check this video on how I did that for this extreme challenge while building our virtual reality company. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.